What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video and today I just want to talk about some of the issues that I've been experiencing with my marsupial bino harness. Now this is a video that I've debated on releasing just due to the fact that I know that this bino harness has gained a lot of popularity over the years. I might catch a little bit of slack about this uh, but I just like to be honest with all of my reviews that I put out. Um, keep in mind I did do a review video where I compared the marsupial bino harness up against the FHF bino harness. In that video I did say that the marsupial was more bang for its buck um, even after that video i did attempt to transition back to the fhf uh, but i ended up going back to the marsupial just due to the fact that i really enjoy the forward flip design um, and i like how this just secures in the open position and i don't have to deal with that flap now since posting that video i have realized that the marsupial bino harnesses the magnetic versions is affecting my gps system um, and i'm going to show you guys this in this video because this has come up a couple times on a couple different forums that I follow and then also through conversations with people who run the marsupial magnetic bino harnesses. Now obviously if you are someone who is hunting private land or state land that you know extremely well um, this may not be an issue for you it may not deter you from purchasing one of these bino harnesses but if but for me personally this has happened to me on three separate occasions um, one on a piece of public that I was unaware of it was my first time being there um, i scouted my way in and headed out in the dark and on my way out i was looking at my directional indicator going in the direction which i thought was towards my truck uh, but actually i was walking in in the completely wrong direction for about 15 minutes um, and it wasn't until i trusted my instinct versus technology that i realized that i was heading the wrong way um, and there is a workaround uh, for this, which I will show you guys in this video. Um, but to show this to you guys, I'm gonna basically record my screen, I'm gonna overlay it on this video, uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm dealing with. Now, uh, we are in my backyard. Um, I have removed property lines for the sake of my neighbor's privacy. Uh, but one thing that you have to uh, keep in mind throughout this video is that being that we're dealing with such a small area, it's very easy to identify when you're headed in the wrong direction. Now, if you're dealing with a larger track of land um, and you're constantly putting your phone in your pocket once you figure out the direction you wanna go, um, it may take you a little bit longer to realize that you're actually headed in the wrong direction. So try to picture yourself on a large piece of public that is new to you or you're out west on some BLM land and you're doing an elk hunt. So um, again, for the sake of this video, I am gonna record my screens. I'm gonna hit record on my screen and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up my Onyx software. Now um, keep in mind my property, um, the back of my property is going to run east and west. Um, right now I am facing south, directly behind me is north. Now I'm going to head east towards the back of my property and I've tried to position the camera in a way that you guys can see all this. Um, but so if I just turn off the directional in indicator, um, and just kind of focus in on the back of my property. Again, east, east and west is the way that my property runs. North and south is basically, um, north is to my back, south is to the front of me. Now again, if I turn on the directional indicator, uh, and my intent is to head east to the back, of my, the back corner of my property line, you can see that my directional indicator is facing north. So say I wanted to basically go, you know, my, my destination was the back corner of my property. I would turn, turn my phone to my direction indicator was in that, that orientation or that direction, right? Um, at this point, if I was out on a piece of public, I'd lock my phone or put it back in my pocket or hold it. Um, but as I would start heading this way, um, in all reality, I'm, I'm heading south. I am not heading east. And again, on that piece of public that I was on, this is exactly what happened to me. I wanted to go a certain direction towards my truck, Pointed, pointed my indicator in that direction, locked my phone, started walking, and it wasn't until 15 minutes later where I realized that I was headed the wrong direction. So um, again, I'm gonna head towards the east part of my property, which is that back corner, um, and you'll be able to see that the entire time my directional indicator is telling me that I'm going north, or is pointing north, but you can see that indicator is actually traveling east. Now, again, as I already mentioned, now, now I'm heading west, right? And it's showing that I'm heading almost southwest. Now, again, um, 
being that we are dealing with a smaller track of land, it's obviously very easy for you to see that I'm traveling in the wrong direction, but try to, again, try to put yourself in a, a situation where you're on a bigger track of land and it's not as obvious that you're heading in the wrong direction. Now, the workaround that I discovered um, is if you are in a situation where your indicator is not working properly. Two things that you can do. Take your bino harness off, restart your phone, put your bino harness in your backpack. Or the second option is turn on your tracker. Now, if you turn on your tracker, I'm gonna turn it on. And again, main goal is to head to the east corner of my property. Um, you, can, you can even see that it's, it's acting funny, right? So my directional indicator is still on, still telling me that I'm heading in the north direction. But as I start to walk, my tracker remains true. It shows that I'm heading in the east direction. Now, again, as I already mentioned, you really need to try to think about the big picture and how this could potentially be a problem for you. Um, I'm not posting this video to deter you away from purchasing a marsupial bina harness. I do love this harness, uh, but for running and gunning on new pieces of public that I'm unfamiliar with or even going out west to an area that I'm unfamiliar with, it is definitely led me to considering a different style of bino harness, especially for hunting, that is not going to affect my navigation. Um, again, I just wanted to post this for you guys. I know I might catch a little bit of slack with it, uh, but I always try to be honest and um, unbiased when I start to do some of these product reviews and I start to review some of these products that I test out personally. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you know that you can reach out to me directly on Instagram. You can always drop me a comment below. Um, if you guys have experienced this issue, you and have figured out a way to overcome it um, or a solution to it also leave a comment below because i do feel that that will help anyone who is interested in purchasing uh, one of the magnetic harnesses through marsupial but that's it for this video um, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel please do so your guys support greatly helps us out and if you have not checked out michiganambushoutdoors.com head over there we do have hats available your guys' purchases of those hats greatly supports this channel keeps us doing what we're doing and until next time stay safe stay healthy we'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.